my dad was proud of his naval service. He didn't talk too much about some of his experiences. Some of them were pretty scary. He was on several ships, one of them being the USS West Virginia battleship. He was with the whole fleet during the Battle of the Solomon Sea. Our carriers, our battleships, they were all at full speed and just evasion because the Japanese bombers and Zeros were strafing, trying to bomb ours as our planes were doing to their fleet and decimating them. At the pitch of the battle, my, my dad was a attrition then on board and he would fix things electronically gone bad. And he got a call over the PA system. We need an electrician on the O2 level to fix whatever it was they were needed to fix. And here was the ship going like this. To, to go up metal stairs, you had to hold on to the step. The lists were so sharp that your feet would be hanging off in the air here. And, and when it came back up, you used that time to get two or three steps in before you'd be laying out this way. And I finally got up got to where I could get out onto the main deck because I had to go out onto the main deck and go down to go back in to get up to the O2 level. Well, the main deck, unbeknownst to me at the time, was being strafed by a Japanese Zero. Oh, they come in and dive and all that dive, they're, they're, you got the finger on the trigger, but they have to let up in time to pull up to miss the superstructure on the, on the battleship. That Japanese Zero was coming in and he, he had just barely let up on the trigger in time to pull up and just at that brief second when he was at that transition stage, my dad opened the door to go out onto the main deck. And for a brief second, just before he pulled up, that Japanese Zero and my dad locked eyes. And my dad said, I will never forget that. He probably didn't survive the war, he said, but I will never forget that. And I don't think he would ever forget that. My dad was in quite a few at sea battles. He would come home for short periods to visit us and I was about two years old then. And yes, I think my dad being in the Navy in World War II and I was alive during that time, that's what's given me that intense interest in World War II era.